423, that is how many people have lost their lives due to gun violence in Philadelphia this year. The latest, a 13-year-old boy shot and killed in West Oak Lane. And we are learning a lot more about Jeremiah Wilcox as police search for his killers. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes is live outside of police headquarters right now. And Ryan, you did speak with Jeremiah's mother this afternoon. I did, Natasha, and she tells me that her son, Jeremiah, was better known as Jay. He was only in the eighth grade. He just started looking at high schools and had dreams of one day becoming an engineer. Last night, he was visiting a friend's house, and his mom tells me she spoke with him over the phone only about 10 minutes before he was shot and killed. That was my best friend. And I'm not going to get to see him. Squeezing her son's t-shirt and holding it near her heart, Jasmine Wilcox is a mother in agony after losing her only son. A smile will light up the room. The fact that I'm not going to get that every night no more is tearing me up inside. 13-year-old Jeremiah Wilcox, better known as Jay, was an eighth grader at Wagner Middle School. Jay was visiting a friend Monday evening around 6:45 when police say he was shot multiple times near 65th Avenue and North Smedley Street in West Oak Lane. He was rushed to Einstein Medical Center, but died a short time later. It shouldn't be like this. These kids are not making it to 15, 16. No family should have to endure this. Sources say at least two men wearing masks were seen running away near Smedley Street. Philadelphia police are now investigating why a 13 year old would be targeted. And Jay's mother, she is only left with his t shirt, his pictures, and happier memories. I want justice for my son. I want his name to stay alive Jeremiah Nasir Wilcox. And police tell me this afternoon they have been interviewing witnesses. They are looking to track down that shooter as well as another man that was seen in that area yesterday evening. And coming up at 5:30, we will hear from the superintendent reacting to another young life that was lost, as well as the growing number of teens impacted by the gun violence crisis here in Philadelphia. But for now, we are live outside police headquarters. Ryan Hughes, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Ryan, thank you so much.